Meanwhile, a group of volunteers in Minneapolis continues working to preserve the murals and artworks created in the aftermath of George Floyd's death. Fox 9's Maury Glover has more on their progress, culminating with plans for a special exhibit on Memorial Day weekend. These boards are South Minneapolis, so pretty much everything um, south of Hiawatha. In a warehouse in northeast Minneapolis. Black women and women of color coordinated the painting of all of these boards. Hundreds of works of urban art have found a temporary home. To look around this room and see 700 boards and know that the boards are all photographed and numbered and archived and will live on is just a really, really amazing feeling. Last summer, we told you how Save the Boards to Memorialize the Movement has been trying to collect and preserve the murals that popped up around the Twin Cities after the death of George Floyd. On Friday, about a dozen volunteers picked up around 65 plywood boards with street art on them from several buildings in St. Paul, including Gordon Park's high school, to make sure the capital city is represented in the collection, too. Target was burning in St. Paul. Buildings were being burned on University Avenue, and so they were just as much a part of what we were going through as anyone else, and their boards really speak to that too. In all, the group has gathered about 500 paintings, rented a climate-controlled space to organize, catalog, and store them, and is planning an outdoor exhibition in Phelps Field Park about a block from 38th and Chicago over Memorial Day weekend to mark the one-year anniversary of Floyd's death. We just want to be able to continue to tell this story. We want to be able to allow our community to heal and to reflect and to think about our actions. So these boards say Black Lives Matter. Eventually, Save the Boards would like to find a permanent place to display the murals for free for future generations. In the meantime, they'll continue to make sure this collection of Minnesota history doesn't become a thing of the past. We never thought that we would get this far. <laughs> But we're, we're really excited to see how much further we can go. In Minneapolis, Maury Glover, Fox 9 News.